Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining today's executive webinar session, Acuquality Webinar Series. Today, we'll be talking about how to manage audits digitally with QDMS and Acumatica ERP system. My name is Kevin Devejoglu, and I'm the Managing Director of Industry International. Today, I have my colleagues with me, and we have a panel to share information with you as to how you can manage your audits digitally with no need of paper with the help of QDMS, quality management software, as well as Acumatica ERP. I have my colleagues with me. I have Alex Kvartirov from MMAS Consulting. He is the president of the company, and he'll be talking about fundamentals of audit management in the scope of ISO 9001 compliance. Also today with me, I have my colleagues, Sam Watt, He's our previous software engineer from our engineering team. He'll be demonstrating QDMS for you regarding how you can manage your audit activities digitally. And I have my colleague who come back with me. He'll be talking about QDMS quality management system and address your questions with Fulkan as well. Recently, we made some changes in our uh, lineup. Normally, we start with a presentation, an introductory presentation. Nowadays, we start with a demonstration, a show and tell, basically. So uh, I'm gonna hand it over to my colleague, Sam. Uh, before doing that, the agenda of this demonstration, show and tell is showing you how you can perform your audits digitally, showing you how you can perform your surveys digitally, how you can run reports, and how you can actually enjoy the benefits of executive dashboards in a digital environment. QDMS is a quality risk audit and compliance management software. I'll be sharing more information with you in coming minutes of this executive webinar. Just a brief information, it's been in the market since 1998. It's very much a very reliable and solid system for companies complying with various quality and regulatory standards. QDMS has more than 1,000 corporate customers and more than 1 million professional users. It's a solid system and we have a lot of reputable organizations using QDMS. They put their confidence in QDMS and in our company and they've been using QDMS for years as I listed some of our references on the screen. So then we talk about audit. Audit may be internal audit, it may be external audits, for example. You may audit your internal department for continuous improvement, for controls and checks that everyone is how uh, they're supposed to be, basically. Or you may also perform audits to audit your vendors, your dealers, for example. So there are many different ways to uh, perform audits for different purposes. You can document it, you can analyze it, and you can take corrective actions for compliance as well as for continuous improvement. Before further ado, what I like to do is I like to invite my colleague somewhat to our virtual floor, virtual stage. Sam will be performing QDMS demonstration for you. And he'll also show how you can you can manage audits as well as surveys digitally with the help of QDMS interacting with Acumatica ERP system. Uh, just for your note, QDMS is a standalone solution. It is running with many different ERP systems, just to complement them. Today, we'll be focusing on QDMS, Acumatica ERP system, uh, and their integrations as well. Sam, if you are ready, why don't you take over the screen? Sure. And let me share my screen. And please let me know if you can see my screen. Yes, looks good. Thank you. Okay, and thank you for joining today's webinar. And this is Sam uh, at BIMSO International. I'm the, the pre-sales software engineer based in New York. And first of all, uh, this is the home screen of Acumatica. And QDMS, our quality risk audit and compliance management system, is a certified software of Acumatica, which means we are uh, integrate our uh, QDMS uh, with Acumatica. 
so that QDMS can run on the same page of Archimatic ELP system. So now we can, uh, you will see QDMS running on the same page of Archimatic. And QDMS is a permission based system, which as um, every user will have their own login credentials. Also, the user will see what they are supposed to do based on their uh, the permissions that are granted to their accounts. So different users will have different permissions based on their role, position, profession, department, or group. As I'm now logging in as the admin, so that I have the full control of the system. And this is the homepage of this of QDMS. You can see all the pending tasks and also the request for approval right after you log in. And we all understand that um, managing your audit has helped you to make sure or uh, the company has a continuous improvement. The reason why, because uh, by performing the audit, we know what um, our employee was doing in their previous year or previous period. And also, also we can make sure they understand the policies, the specifications, the procedures of our company as well, so that we can guarantee all the employees uh, can comply with the policies that we have in organization in terms of compiling with the standards, especially like uh, uh, for example, the regulation like ISO or um, SQ, uh, SQF, BRC, for example. So right after you log in and by using our system, we can see the main menu here. So for example, the audit management module. And with this module, it helps you to be ready to carry out your audit operation every day as long as you have the internet connection. And in this main menu, you can also see the available modules in QDMS. And thanks to the modular structure of our software, you can pick and choose the, the modules that you want to have and deploy on your server. And then let's come back to the audit management module. In this module, we can create our audit plan. And to the plan or the planning in QDMS, this is the goal that we want to achieve. And we can use this module for um, internal audit and external audit as well. Which means we can audit all the employees in our, our organization, or we can audit our vendor, supplier, or contractors as well. So in this page, you can see different planning that are put together in our demo environment. So you will see right here as an internal audit plan. And also we can create an audit planning for external use as well, like auditing our supplier. So those can be achieved in by using QDMS. As I mentioned, the planning is the goal that we want to achieve. So in this internal audit plan, we want to audit every single employee in our company. And how we can achieve this goal is we are going to audit every employee in every department. So at auditing the employees or in different departments will be the audit item in QDMS. And we can create different audit items under this plan. As you can see right here, we have an example for auditing the sales department. And while you're creating a new audit item, and the item is like the object, uh, objectives that help you to achieve your goal. In this item, you can define the audit date and also the time. In addition, you can define the audit subject as well. As for auditing the sales department, you can enter the subject as, as uh, how to 
get approached to their prospect or potential customer. So that can be the subject of your audit and um, ask the, the auditee how they are doing and what they should do. And while you're defining your audit item, you can also invite the auditor and also auditee to this audit item. And at last, if there's an attachment can be a reference for the auditor, you can also attach right here so that the auditor can always see what uh, the file that you attach that will be a reference to, um, to this auditor. And you can browse it and upload the file from your local or having a document from your document management module in QDMS. And once we save this, this audit item will be saved and updated in the system. The auditor and also all the keys will receive a notification in QDMS and also in their email inboxes. So this is how our system makes sure you will not miss an important task by using QDMS. Another nice features in QDMS is we can also pick and choose the questions as a reference for uh, to the auditor. So for example, we, we are not supposed to audit ourselves. And uh, for example, I am the um, IT manager. And um, in order to audit my, um, me, like an IT manager, maybe our COO or CTO maybe, but in case we have to audit by the COO and our COO doesn't have the technical background or any IT background. And the good thing here is we can pick and choose the related question as a reference for the COO. And these questions are coming from the question pool in QDMS so that we can pick and choose the question and the COO doesn't have to spend his time and also any paper for preparing uh, for preparing the audit. So the COO can audit me anytime by referring to these questions or reference and start the audit operation. And uh, also in terms of the auditor and also audit key. You can pick and choose the uh, auditee, for example, from an user list in QDMS. And this information are coming from Archimatica. As Kevin mentioned, QDMS can work as a standalone. And also we have the fundamental integration with Archimatica as well. So that you can find all the supplier information, employee information, your stock item information in QDMS and all those information are coming from Archimatica. And technically, we can integrate with any fields that you can see in Archimatica and reflect on QDMS. In addition, we can have the pulling or pushing of the data from QDMS to Archimatica and vice versa. And this is how we can manage the audit planning and audit also the item by using QDMS. And as you can see, like um, connecting Archimatica, we can show QDMS in our web browser. And also QDMS has a native mobile application so that you can connect QDMS by using your handheld device or like your uh, smartphone or tablet. And you will see the same data set that you see in the web browser since they are going to and coming from the same database. And I'm going to mirror my smartphone on the screen. And by the way, the mobile application, it is available for Android and iOS device. And this is my smartphone running 
in Android system. And I download QDMS from Google Play Store. And if you're using iPhone or using iPad, you can download it from the App Store. And I can open QDMS on my handheld device. And you will see the same uh, login page and I can use the same credentials and log in to QDMS. After I log in, I can see all the pending tasks and also the request for approval here. And for example, there is an audit I have to perform. Then I can open this one and the handheld device will be a great help to you if you're auditing any employees on the ground, like the blue collar. They mostly work um, on the ground, like in the facility or the plant, and it's not easy to get them uh, on the phone or come to the office. And instead, you can go to the, um, the plant and then start the audit right, right next to them. So you can have them like 10 minutes, and then you can see questions that we have defined uh, as a reference to the auditor like you and then we can start asking the question and once we have the answer coming back from the auditor we can also record here like this is an answer for example and then we can choose uh, if we need any corrective action or any action planning in QDMS so those also can be managed in, uh, on your handheld device as well. In addition, if you want to attach any document, for example, you took a picture of the machineries that this employee is using or responsible. To. Then we can add this right here and see, for example, our gallery or pick and choose our document from our handheld device. Uh, right after that, we can pick and choose and attach the photo right away by using our handheld device. After that, we can save this and it will be saved in QDMS. And also you can find uh, more questions in uh, for this audit item, like uh, question one, two, three, four, five. So think about like, you always have to prepare your audit on paper and like five pages paper are needed for auditing one employee and we have 20 employees which means every audit uh schedule you need a hundred pages of paper and by using qdms first of all it's help you to save your cost and time uh, for preparing the audit question and also it's helped you to save the cost um for storing or printing your of the paper as well as paper are not free for sure and in this module you can also see the reporting tool which allows us to uh, have to generate the ready-made report like findings by audit or the score and also the history records so for example the iso auditor come to your place and say ask you to show me uh, all the audits that you performed uh, for the last year. Then we can come to this reporting tool and pick and choose the audit, the audit date, like starting from last year, October 1st up to today. And then we can make our searching and we will see all the audits that we perform in this period. And also we can export our rec uh, report as Excel or PDF for sharing with any responsible parties. And also we can show the audit report of this particular, uh, of this particular uh, audit item. And you can see now is we can get all the report and also the history of our audit in a second and show this to the auditors of the regulations. For example, the ISO auditors. And in QDMS, we also have the survey module. And by using this module, it allows you to get the feedback uh, internally and also externally. You can send this survey uh, to your employees or your coworkers 
and also to your supplier, vendor, or subcontractor. So it's helped you to get the feedback um, from um, the third parties or in your organization, so that it will help you on your future action planning. And also you can use this survey module as, uh, as a test after certain training in order to make sure all our employees, for example, get the idea and also the knowledge from the, uh, from the training. And I'm going to show you two examples here. And first of all, let us get into the survey module. And then I will show you this one, the employee satisfaction survey module form. And as for this survey, we can, uh, the participant can enter the, the answer in this open test field. And also they can pick and choose the best item uh, for this question number two. So it's helped you to minimize the human error while they are entering their own answer in an open test field. And instead they can pick and choose the um, the appropriate option or the best option in this list. Furthermore, we can have a multiple choice question uh, to be defined in our survey or test, and we can pick more than one option in this list. And then right here, we can have a drop down list, which allow the participant to pick and choose the um, most uh, appropriate answer or the, uh, the best fit answer to this question. And if we choose no, there's nothing happen. But if you see when I choose yes, the hidden question will be shown in this survey, which means we can set up different rule in our survey and hide a certain question based upon the answer of the previous question as well. And we can pick and choose the date from a calendar view so that we can avoid any date conflict. As um, in different regions, we have different date format. Like in Europe, we have the date, uh, the date first and coming after the month. And then uh, in the US, we have the month first and then the date. So by picking or pick and choose the date from a calendar, we can avoid, uh, avoid the, this kind of conflict in addition, you can also upload any document from your local or from the document management module here as a reference as well. So once we submit this one, your survey will be recorded and all the answer will be recorded in the system. And anytime we can go back to the um, survey to result. And before I'm showing you that, also by using the survey module, we can have a vendor evaluation form as well, so that we can in, uh, pick and choose the vendor name and the vendor category. So those are coming from Archimedica or QDMS uh, can act like, uh, can be a standalone solution as well, so that you can pick and choose from the scale from one to five, and all these items are configurable, which means you can always update uh, or edit this item in uh, for all your questions. For example, I want to have a scale of 10 instead of five. Can you do that? Absolutely, you can do so in by using survey module in QDMS. And as I mentioned, all the records or results will be saved in an archive of QDMS. So that, first of all, we can create our survey to report. Excuse me. We do this one. And we can see the answer that we have from the individual, which means we can see this particular user, um, what he or she answer in the survey. And also we can have an overview, uh, overview view, like how many percentage or the frequency that we receive in total uh, regarding this item in, uh, for example, question one. So for question one, uh, one reply less than 30 minutes. 
and one reply 30 to 60 minutes. And you can see the percentage of the respondents here as well. And you can export this report or this result report as PDF or Excel for sharing with any responsible parties or preparing um, the meetings in your organization. And at last, I want to show you as in QDMS, you can also have the dashboard and all your real-time data are uh, real-time data and also the records that we have in QDMS will be shown in different ranges of the dashboard. And the dashboard will show all your data in a scorecard, in a list, in a table, in a pie chart, or in a bar chart. So these are all the information that we have in one of the modules, which is incident management module. And I can see all the real-time data are here as a bar chart, as a pie chart, and also in a table as well. And we can export our dashboard or PDF for sharing with any responsible parties. It's come uh, it comes to the end of my demonstration. Thank you very much. And thank you for the demonstration. Much appreciated. Let me take over the screen and we can continue our executive webinar session. If you saw doing Sam's demonstration, you can now run your audits digitally with no need of paper or any spreadsheet or any other unstructured data recording environment digitally with your laptop with your mobile device your smartphone or tablet for example you can perform your audit you can put together your reports you can take pictures you can attach and if necessary you can take correct directions if necessary so uh, just like sam mentioned earlier the uh, goal of audit actually whether that's internal audit or external audit is to have continuous improvement in place, both for the organization itself, also for suppliers, dealers, and other stakeholders in any organization ecosystem. The more records we have digitally, the more analysis we can perform and better decisions we can make. Now, what I like to do is I like to invite Alex Quattro, our virtual stage, virtual flow, and let's learn about fundamentals of audit management in the scope of ISO 9001 compliance. Alex, you ready? Uh, yes, Kevin, and uh, okay. thank you thank very you. much for inviting me to this uh, very interesting webinar, and also good afternoon to everybody who has joined. Uh, so what I'd like to do is just uh, very briefly discuss the importance of audits, of managing audits in a uh, ISO environment. Uh, so before I um, proceed with that, I just want to have a very brief uh, introduction about uh, my company, Amrus Consulting. Uh, and um, uh, could I have the uh, next slide, please? Okay. Uh, so, um, I personally uh, am a, a certified ISO 9001-2015 lead auditor, uh, and I've established um, Amros Consulting about five years ago after a lengthy career as a uh, project manager in a large aerospace company, which was certified to the AS9100 quality standard, which is the aerospace uh standard equivalent to the uh, ISO 9001. So what I currently do is I provide consulting services uh, for any organization that is looking to achieve and as well maintain ISO certification. So back about uh, two years ago now, um, I became a uh, BIMSA solution partner uh, to actually uh, assist in the marketing of the uh, QDMS tool, 
because what I found when I learned about uh, what QDMS does in a ISO environment, I was so excited about it that I then talked to Kevin and we decided to uh, pull our resources together so we can help each other. Because certainly with my knowledge of ISO, I can certainly help organizations apply uh, the, uh, the, the really great capabilities that uh, QDMS uh, can offer. And I also do a number of uh, lectures and, uh, well, currently it's mostly webinars, as you can understand, on uh, various ISO topics. All right, next slide, please. So um, just uh, very briefly introducing, you know, ISO uh, and what ISO is, is it's a really, it's a quality management system, QMS. Uh, and it follows the flow really from uh, the inputs, which are mostly customer requirements, but they're also your organizational requirements, uh, your interested parties, uh, and, and also whatever environment you're in that drives uh, your you know, inputs, which then um, internally you have identified a number of processes that taking those inputs and generating the output, which is really a product or service for your customer. So that entire system really includes, involves the Q, uh, QMS. And what it consists of really are policies. So again, uh, what are the policies? Well, they really, uh, first of all, meet the customer requirements, okay? You wanna provide a product or service that will make your uh, customer very happy, all right? And accordingly, you wanna exceed your customer expectations. So you wanna deliver a quality product, you know, on time and within budget. But part of this is you have to implement continuous improvement because as an organization, you're really never perfect. You, there's always room to make improvements and that's really part of the ISO requirement. So then the next level are procedures. Well, procedures are basically, how do you achieve uh, all of your internal policies? And again, at a top level, they consist of controlling your documents and records and of course, uh, Documents are really, the number of documents you have is driven by your business and the records are really is your data that you collect as part of running your QMS. And obviously, um, since data includes all aspects of, of the organization, uh, there's probably, you will have quite a number of records that you have to maintain. Now, also a very important procedure is how do you control your non-conforming products? Uh, obviously, you wanna minimize those, but you're gonna have defects. Uh, hopefully, most of your defects you will catch before you deliver to, the, to your customer, but it happens that sometimes a customer gets a defective product and then you have to really deal with that uh, and you have to control the product that would the customer would return to you. And very important is now, how do you uh, control and manage your corrective and preventive actions? So uh, once you have a non-conformance, then you have to uh, go through a process, internal process of uh, identifying what caused this non-conformance and then have a plan to fix it and hopefully uh, have that nonconformance uh, completely resolve. Now, as was uh, mentioned before, uh, a very important aspect of ISO is internal audits. And we'll talk, obviously, since this is the topic of today's uh, uh, webinar, we'll I have a, a, few, a couple of more slides on internal audits. Uh, also, responsibilities is a very important aspect of QMS. Uh, what are the organization roles and authorities? In other words, uh, management is responsible to make sure that 
uh, ISO is properly implemented. Uh, it can be delegated. It still is the responsibility of management. And part of their function is to assign, very cl clearly assign the roles and responsibilities uh, for all of the uh, staff. Uh, now, the, the, the staff has to be properly trained. Uh, so that's a very important part is, again, training records is also uh, an important part of uh, ISO. So let's go on to the um, types of audits uh, that uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, go over, okay? Those are audits are required for certi uh, ISO certification. So the first category that I have are all of the audits that are performed by the certification body, uh, sometimes called registrar, okay? So obviously, uh, when you uh, are going for certification, uh, the, the audit is called certification audit, and it consists of two stages. Stage one, which is like a preliminary audit to make sure that you're ready for the full-blown audit, which is stage two. Now, recertification audit is that, well, if you failed your first certification audit, then you would have to go through a recertification audit. Now, surveillance audit is once you're certified, then you must be, in a way, recertified on, on a yearly basis. Now, it's not as thorough as the uh, initial certification audit, but it's still uh, an update. So uh, it's done yearly and it's called a surveillance audit. So those are the uh, main audits that are performed by uh, the certification body. Now, there's also internal audits, which was discussed very thoroughly by uh, Sam and did a very nice presentation on how QDMS can support those audits. And the internal audits, and by the way, internal audits are, uh, you know, for the, your own organization, or they can certainly apply to your supplier, to your supply chain. And in fact, ISO requires that uh, suppliers be audited now, you know, and again, it is your organization's decision as to how much of an audit or how deep of an audit you you want to do on your suppliers but in any uh in any event internal audits are required to be done at least yearly and they're specified by iso 9001 clause 9.2 uh, and they can be performed by uh, internal personnel as long as they don't you know audit their own work but they can be done by internal personnel or if you prefer by a third party. Okay, next slide, please. So what is really the purpose of and goal of, a, of, audit, of an audit? Okay, well, obviously is to verify the effectiveness of your QMS. Uh, now your QMS really is built around the needs of your organization. However, it also must satisfy satisfy some minimal ISO requirements. So again, so the purpose of the audit is to really review your your QMS, how well it is implemented. Do you follow all your internal, as we discussed earlier, procedures? Okay. And also the the, the purpose is not just to make you know check marks but to look for non-compliances and and obviously make corrections so that's really the goal is to identify uh you know areas where you don't fully meet the requirements and then obviously make corrections so this is really again a part of continuous improvement so what what do you really what information are you looking for when you perform uh, a uh, an audit. Well, obviously, uh, is you have to look at your all your processes, and the very important aspect of ISO is that you have to have processes, uh, and they have to be uh, uh, inter interrelated in an effective manner to make your whole operation very efficient. So, a typical process would be, you know, purchasing. Um, Another process could be uh, design and development if your organization has such a, a function. It could, obviously, manufacturing would be uh, a process and so on, uh, certainly testing. And again, processes are determined by your organization and whatever 
uh, you need to make your uh, work very efficient. Obviously, a part of QMS's documents, uh, they have to be maintained, properly maintained. You have to make sure that they, um, there's a control process involved in maintaining the documents, making sure that there's a traceability of uh, when changes are being made and that the latest version of the document is available to uh, the users, the people that will be using the document. Now also, a very important part of uh, doing a audit is the review of the records. Uh, records are extremely important to analyze uh, how your organization is performing. Uh, are you meeting your goals? Uh, and, and the records are really used uh, as a ba as a used as a basis to make internal improvements. So uh, audits are, are a very key part of um, a record. I'm sorry, records are a very key part of uh, performing an audit. Now, how do you really maintain all of the ISO data? Okay, and there's different ways of doing it, and all are acceptable by ISO standards. Is well, you can have everything maintained as a hard copies and stored in file cabinets. Uh, it's, you know, it, that's the way it was done years and years ago, and it's, it's fine, but it's very hard to manage and to control, obviously, because you have physical papers that you have to deal with. Next best way is to have uh, electronic files um, maintained in, you know, could be scattered through different departments of your organization, different computers, and that's a better way because it's at least it's a, an electronic control, uh, but you could have a combination of, you know, electronic files and hard copies, and that's all, you know, acceptable. But the best way to really deal with data is to have a central database uh, of all that information, which is managed by a software tool, and specifically the software tool that was addressed is QDMS. So that is really the ideal approach because everything is centralized and that is really helps to do both, you know, your internal audits as well as your uh, audits with a registrar. Uh, so the next slide, please. I wanna really uh, touch very briefly uh, on uh, on-site audits versus virtual audits. Now, virtual audits is something that has been introduced rather recently because of, uh, you know, the COVID situation. Uh, and traditionally, traditionally, all the audits were done on-site. So whether it's a registrar or whether it's done by a third party to do an, an internal audit, uh, the auditor used to come in, physically be located at, at your organization and then go through all of the data that he has to review on site. Now, because that's obviously a problem because not everybody's now working on site. And also the other issue is now the auditor has to come in and uh, there could be an issue with that. So now uh, what's been approved by the certification bodies as a virtual audit, which can be done off-site. However, there are certain considerations here. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to be using a video platform, such as a GoMeeting, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or Skype for Business, okay? So the auditor has to really visually see what's going on. Now, obviously, uh, your staff, wherever they are located, uh, they have to be able to communicate, obviously, virtually and respond to the auditor's question through this environment. Uh, and as I mentioned before, that has a really huge advantage in a COVID environment because certainly when there was a period of time when businesses were actually uh, well, you know, working offsite, most of the people working offsite, that was a big issue. And since surveillance audits have to be done yearly, uh, you really uh, could have a lapse in your uh, certification. 
So now, in order to conduct a, a virtual audit, and I highlighted this in yellow, is that the auditor must be able to access the system. So actually, it's all your data that's part of your system with the same rigor as, as if he was at the client's facility. Now, this is a requirement to be able to do a virtual audit. So what does it mean? Well, that means that it's not sufficient to just provide data uh, to the auditor. The data, the auditor must be able to say, well, I wanna see this, I wanna see that, I wanna see this data, I wanna see this. So he has to see what's available what's on your system and then he could choose himself what he wants to look at now that requires a, a tool to do that and again uh, if you know you, QDMS is used uh, for all to maintain all of your records and data and, and documents then it certainly satisfies a hundred percent fully satisfies uh, the requirements to perform a virtual audit. So in addition to helping you perform the audit, it also gives you the capability to support a virtual audit, which is really a tremendous capability. Uh, so this is really, I'm really gonna be closing my presentation with that thought, and I think it's, everybody should really keep that in mind uh, when considering using QDMS. So again, thank you very much. Uh, for you know listening to me and then I'm turning this over to Kevin now thank you Alex much appreciated let me switch the uh, presentation file and then we can continue our executive webinar session I'll just make it full screen and I'll continue Great, thank you very much, Alex, for your insights regarding fundamentals of audit management for ISO 9001 compliance. Much appreciated, great insights, very educational. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about um, QDMS a little bit, and also um, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our company on a high level, who we are, what we do, and then I'd like to talk a little bit further about QDMS, our quality risk audit and compliance management software, and then we can uh, end our executive webinar program of today. So let's talk about BIM3 International a little bit. Uh, our company is BIM3 International, and we are an enterprise software maker since 1998. We are based in New York. In a sense, we help organizations adopt digital transformation, and we help companies simplify their business processes. We are very active in various business communities, manufacturing, servers, banking, finance, commerce, import, export, and many other industries that we are, we are active with, and we are active with these communities, within these communities, through various chambers and associations. Uh, we also have an internship program called Universal of Industry International. We teach university students how to do pre-sales engineering as well as software engineering. We have global presence. We are a group of companies, as you see on the, on the slide. We are about 200 people. Uh, we are a growing organization. Uh, as for uh, certifications and quality management systems, we are ISO 9001 certified and ISO 271 certified. As you see on the screen, we are active in various ERP ecosystems, SAP, Microsoft, Altimedica, Myobi, Sage, and many other ERP ecosystems that we are very active in. Uh, we also have a global presence. We are active in North America, South America, Africa, Asia, in addition to Europe, and of course, uh, Middle East and, and Central, Central Asia. Since 1998, we have been focusing on uh, these four products. That's our specialty, we are a specialist. So EBA is our workflow, automation, and document management platform. It helps companies digitize their business processes with the help of workflow and it has. We have BIM as an asset and maintenance management system. You can manage your maintenance operations. For example, preventive, periodic, and predictive maintenance operations for your cars, trucks, machinery, equipment, property, and buildings. 
Uh, we'll talk more about CDMS. Uh, my colleagues have demonstrated earlier our quality, risk, audit, and compliance management software. And Ensemble is our intelligent business process modeling and performance management software. Uh, we, you can also see a contract management application, contract management solution that we develop on EBA. We can manage your contract, update, approvals, paperless on EBA platform. And finally, we have a new product called BeamSource Synergy. It is actually uh, the native cloud version of EBA. So we've been doing uh, workflow uh, automation as well as electronic business automation processes for a long time. Now we can do it native cloud with the help of Synergy. We are releasing Synergy this month and we are very excited about it. Um, as for our products, as for how many projects we have been delivering uh, since 1998, as you see on the screen, as for QDMS, we deployed more than a thousand uh, projects and uh, we have more than a million professional users of QDMS. These numbers also show more or less how many corporate customers we have for each of our products. So as you see, we have thousands of corporate customers and millions of uh, professional users. Our products work on cloud as well as on-premise servers. They are all uh, web-based systems, very modern. Uh, they are state-of-the-art. So once we make our product ready for you, you can access it with a web browser from anywhere, just like connecting another website, which is very practical. So you may be working from office, you may be working from home, or you may be traveling, you can access our products uh, wherever you are, basically. Our products talk to each other, they integrate with each other. Also, we integrate with ERP systems, CRM systems, and other business and enterprise applications of yours to help you have an integrated business management system. Since uh, we have a lot of experience in enterprise market, in addition to mid-market, uh, we have a lot of repeatable companies uh, using our products. Great references that we have these uh, great companies put their confidence in our company, which we are proud of. We work with 3M, we work with Bridgestone, Ford, uh, and many other reputable organizations. Then we talk about uh, quality management. Our scope is digital transformation. And uh, this basically is the big picture for us when we talk about it. And there are, of course, benefits of digital transformation. If you can adapt digital transformation with your organization, with your structure, with the culture of your company, you can be more competitive. You can reduce costs. You can increase customer satisfaction. You can be more productive and you can be more compliant. That is, these are some of the benefits that you can have by adopting digital transformation. And we have companies adopt digital transformation with our products. Uh, there are many different uh, uh, verticals and industries in the marketplace and they all have different requirements as for quality management requirements as well as regulatory requirements. You may be in aviation industry, you may be in uh, healthcare, pharma, uh, medical device. So there are different uh, requirements that come with it. Uh, and each of these requirements and quality management systems, basically they have uh, requirements, uh, just like my colleagues mentioned earlier, documentation. Record keeping is key. So the idea is to uh, help you have a management system in place. And this management system needs to be traceable and it needs to be documented. So regardless of who is running this system, anyone can pick up these documentation, review, learn, and follow the instructions, follow the policies, procedures, and SOPs accordingly. You need to also have a control point in your organization. And you need to have feedback from your stakeholders, from your customers, and you need to take actions for continuous improvement. Any improvement that you are taking, basically, you need to communicate it with your, with your team members. That is uh, also uh, critical, regardless of what quality management system that you comply. And when we talk to companies, uh, there are challenges that we have been seeing in the marketplace. So documentation is one of the challenges as we hear it. Because you may have policies, procedures in place, uh, you may have the first version, you may prepare it on, uh, on, uh, in, a, in a different uh, environment, maybe on a paper, maybe on a spreadsheet. Um, however, uh, these policies and procedures need to be updated from time to time. And when this update happens, it's called versioning, then you'll have more and more papers and more and more documents, more and more spreadsheets, and it becomes really hard to, um, hard to manage. It. And it's hard also uh, for team members to follow up and uh, also follow the instructions, and it's very difficult to keep team members updated as well. The documentation is one of the challenges. Also, we, we hear in the marketplace, it is uh, 
hard to make decisions as well as uh, taking corrective action because there is lack of central repository as for where the data, where the information, and where the documents are located. So that is another uh, common challenge that we have been hearing in the marketplace. That is why we put together this uh, framework. We call this digital transformation framework for quality management. So uh, basically, based on uh, the challenges that we hear from these uh, from many many different companies regardless of their verticals, we actually formalize this framework to address their challenges. So uh, to address those challenges, basically companies need to need to implement this framework with assurance, control, and predict piece. Simply, so assurance basically uh, is referring to your quality management system. You may be compliant with ISO, or you may be compliant with AS9100 in the aerospace industry, or maybe ISO 13485 in the medical device industry. So that is your system in place, and the system needs to be interested with your control mechanism. So you need to have control points in your administrative operations, also maybe your uh, maybe your logistic operations or services, for instance. The reason we have control is because um, uh, any quality assurance, quality management system basically uh, touch the entire part of your company except accounting and finance. That means it's not only about production or it's not only about services, it is also about your administrative operations. And finally, predict refers to your, your IoT devices and smart sensors that you can actually be uh, proactive. And uh, keeping this framework in mind, we created uh, our quality risk audit and compliance management software to help companies address their challenges for management, for quality management, and for compliance purposes. Uh, with the help of QDMS, you can comply with many different quality uh, management systems as well as regulations. For example, you can comply with uh, ISO 9001, you can comply with ISO 14000, and many other quality management systems. system is user-friendly, so once we train you properly, you can use uh, the system uh, yourself uh, with your uh, quality management team. This is pretty straightforward. Also, uh, since uh, QDMS is web-based, you can access the system from anywhere. This is our page on uh, Akinetica's uh, marketplace with regards to QDMS and it is certification and some other information available in the Akinetica marketplace. Uh, QDMS is a very modern technology, uh, so it's already integrated with Archimatic ERP system and many other ERP systems as well, uh, because it has uh, connectors and APIs. Basically, with these connectors, we can connect with many different systems. Uh, also, QDMS is able to connect with CRM systems, manufacturing execution systems, as well as IoT devices. Uh, since QDMS is modular, it is actually very flexible. It can help you comply with many different quality management as well as regulatory standards. Uh, or require, requirements. So we have more than 30 modules. You can pick and choose any module you like. You don't have to have everything. The important thing for us to help you comply digitally, paperless. And uh, whichever part of your quality management system is priority is to address your challenges. We, we, we are happy to basically offer you those particular modules. So there is no minimum requirement. You can pick and choose any module you like. Uh, my colleague Sam earlier demonstrated audit management module as well as survey module. Um, as you see, we have other modules as well. Uh, we demonstrated some other modules in previous aqua quality webinar series and more will be demonstrated. Also, we have a YouTube channel and I'll be talking about it in a little bit more. And you can see our product uh, related videos on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, QDMS works on a regular laptop or desktop. You can also access QDMS via your tablet as well as your smartphone. You can use a web browser or with your tablet or smartphone, you can use native cloud application of, of QDMS as my colleague Sam uh, demonstrated earlier during the executive webinar. So before we end our session, uh, I'd like to invite you to our YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel, you can watch videos about digital transformation, manufacturing, 4.0, also called industry 4.0, automation, cloud technology, predictive and uh, preventive maintenance management practices. And you can also access to our webinar recordings, as to our quality webinar series and other executive webinar series as well. So we believe it's very educational and informative for you to visit, and we encourage you to uh, visit 
our YouTube channel. And also, uh, as for uh, our uh, event break page, please visit our event break page. And uh, you can see our coming webinar sessions, executive webinar sessions. Uh, you can uh, register and you can uh, meet at our coming executive webinar session. Okay, great. So before we end our session, uh, Alex, would you like to uh, add anything in addition to uh, what you demonstrated today? Uh, well, I just, uh, in conclusion, just wanted to say that, uh, you know, QDMS, uh, if it's used, uh, you know, properly and, and if all your, your data uh, documentation uh, is maintained in, in that tool, then uh, it does offer tremendous advantages to managing the data, uh, performing audits. Uh, again, uh, with that tool, uh, it really is almost no preparation needed before an audit because all the information is there. Uh, you don't have to look for it, search for it. It's in one place. So I think it's the advantages of QDMS is just uh, incredible. So that's what I want to uh, say in conclusion. Alex, thank you very much. Also, much appreciated for your insightful presentation session about audit management in the scope of ISO 9001 compliance. Much appreciated. I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest for joining us for us to call the webinar series. More executive webinar series lined up, coming up. Please visit our event break page and sign up. And we are looking forward to meeting you, seeing you at our coming executive webinar session. Thank you very much and have a nice day.